Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. And if you're my previous subscribers, welcome my baby dinosaurs. You know what day it is. It is January 2nd. It is the new year 2021. So I'm just rocking out in my outfit. So I do hope you guys like it. And so uh, for today's video, we're going to be covering um, Josh Hawley, uh, the senator from Missouri, and Ted Cruz, the senator from Texas. And there are, there are both two senators who have uh, voiced their opinion, opinion that they are going to contest the election. And I wanted to see what is the MO behind that and um, will it be successful. Now, I know I have done a video on this before. And um, I don't see uh, a plausible outcome for the Republican Party. But um, without further ado, I do have a brand new mic here. So I do have everything plugged in so hopefully the sound is a lot better let me know in the comments below and um yeah i just have a little bit of a little inspiration for you guys i felt like this was necessary to put on my channel and i don't know where exactly the quote came from but i thought it was very significant if you really got a pure heart you're gonna win in the end remember that and for everyone who resonates with that including my me myself um, that might be a message that you may need to hear at this time right now. And so if you guys have not checked out my Facebook group, um, I just did a little perk. I went live last night on Facebook and I did some personal reading. So I do hope you guys, uh, consider joining. It's free. I don't charge you anything. It's just to have fun and interact with people who have the like, same like-minded and same experiences as you. And so that's just up for you. But anyway, we're not going to waste your time. We're going to jump right into it. So, this is just for entertainment purposes only. I don't know why it's not, like, clearing out. I apologize for that. Okay, it's not doing it. Let me see. Alright. I'm sorry about that. Alright, so Spears and Angels tell me about Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley. Senator Ted Cruz and Senator Josh Hawley. Why are they trying to contest the election? Okay. Why are they trying to contest the election? As you can see, I cleared up my background, so it's a, it's a lot better, it's a lot easier. For anyone who had donated to the channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate you, and I love you. All right, so Spears and Angels tell me about um, Ted Cruz and Josh Harley. Why are they trying to contest this 2020 election? Why are they trying to do that? Okay, final outcome, <laughs> I didn't get self-explanatory. All right, so here we have, in the past... They're afraid that they didn't become, like, the, um, the Republican nominee, specifically, uh, Ted Cruz. We do have here, uh, they feel like their career is in a political stalemate. It's too tied to Trump. And they don't, there's not much leeway room that they can do. They need his endorsement in order to win in the seat that they're in. And so we do have here the Knight of Pentacles. So they feel like their career is going to come to a halt. Then we have here, this is my card for leaving. They're going to end up leaving the Senate. But they already knew that. They know they're going to end up leaving the Senate. Because if you look here, they're not really, they don't have good intentions when it comes to the United States. If you look here, there's a lot of, like, stars and stuff like that. And basically what that tells me is it kind of reminds me of the Democratic Party. And everything that the Democrats represent in those states. Both of those states that these two senators represent are, went Democratic not too long ago either. Within the last couple of decades. And so, um... It does look like there is some competition. You know, uh, majority only went to John McCain in 2008 by a very net less than 1%. And only Trump was able to make that majority state very ruby red. But remember, Trump is a once-in-a-lifetime candidate for the Republican Party. And so with that being said, majority is going to go back into the competitive status that it was once in. And you can clearly tell that here with Texas and Missouri. Now we do have here, they are being paid. So they are being paid by outside sources, outside sponsors. This is just for entertainment purposes only. But that's what it appears to be doing. It appears to be going in that direction. They want to hold on to as much power as they can for as long as they could. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to they're trying to fight um, the stimulus package and the bill. So it looks like that is the motive here as well. Is that they want the money for themselves and not anyone else. Then we do have here. 
they already took the money, so it, it falls out underneath that. So the motive here is money. That's what we need to know. Motive. So, now we have the MO. Now let's look at why. Why it is so representing uh, a president who has lost the, his re-election bid. That seems a little mind-boggling. Unless they're, unless they're being threatened worse, and then I, again, I can see that as well. So let's take a look. All right, so spirits and angels, tell me about this. Why are Senator Ted Cruz and Senator Josh Hawley so hell-bent on President Trump re-election, even though he lost in the 2020 election? Why are they doing that? Can we have a little idea why they're doing what they're doing? Okay. <clears throat> it makes a lot of sense. They're afraid of Kamala Harris. I know I said this a lot with like Pe Mike Pence and a lot of the Republican Party. They are afraid of the power that Kamala Harris will have on them. Remember, she was only a senator. She went from, you know, attorney general to senator to vice president within a matter of a decade and a half, if I'm wrong. It, it looks like that's the time frame, but it could be shorter even. But it does look like they're afraid of her strength. They're afraid that they're not strong enough to stand up against her. And here, here she is. She's very strong. She's very independent. She's very spiritual. She knows. She has intuition. She's very strong. Then we have here the hermit. They don't know where their political career lies. So they're, they're, the reason why they're hanging on to Trump is because they want to make the base so radical that they become almost unradical. Like they cannot be unradicalized, so to speak. They kind of want to ruin these people's lives so that they can keep them in check, so to speak. Kind of like cheaps, basically, best put. All right, so let's see. Will they be successful at overturning an election or contesting it? <clears throat> Spirit and Angel tell me, will jo Senator Josh Harley and Senator Ted Cruz be successful at uh, overturning or rejecting the 2020 election results from the American voters? Will they be successful at it? No, they won't. Good luck. We have a Biden card in the past. He won. The Electoral College. The Electoral College voted in December 14th. And then here, the, these senators leaving. So it looks like they actually may go. They actually may end up leaving as well. Right now, information going to be poured out, but right now it's hidden about them. So their connection to President Trump might be stronger than what we think. So that's what it appears to be as well. Then I want to look at will they be participating in uh, January 6th rally or riot. I know a lot of you guys have watched that video. If you have not, I highly recommend it. It has a lot of juicy information. In the next video, I'll be covering Trump's fake death. So definitely stay tuned for that as well. Alright, so spirits and angels tell me. Okay, so we have we have investigation already. Alright, so spirits and angels tell me would Senator Ted Cruz and Josh Harley participate in Trump rally or riot January 6th when they certify Biden as the President of the United States. <clears throat> okay. Weird. Alright, so we have quite a lot of information to cover today. Is Quite interesting, actually. So we have here, I when I first saw this card, it was my investigation card. But this is also Nancy Pelosi, so she's just on top of this entire situation. Now, if you guys can recall from my 100 subscriber um, Simpson video where I covered the Trump um, prediction in 2000 with the Homer Simpson and everything, and I talked about that Nancy Pelosi or women will take over the presidency of the United States when the national debt hits $28 trillion. Well, guess what? They just passed a stimulus package, which means that the United States debt is now at $28 trillion. So at any point in time, we should be expecting a woman, a Madam President, so to speak. So we do have here, this is the card that kind of represents the overall scenario, what may or may not happen, how we cause this gives me the likeliest outcome. So we do have here, that it, they are evaluating everything that may be happening and what's going on. So it is, it looks like they will be playing a big role in it. They already made a decision that they are going to attend. Or they may play, they may try to spin some sort of thing. They may try to put in fake information or something along those lines. 
This card was reversed, which means and tells me that they already made a definitive decision that they are going to do something on January 6th. And here it is. The riot, right? The, uh, people fighting, people getting angry and stuff like that. And here we have on the right side as well, we do have uh, the presidency, right? We have the White House. Then we have fighting. So the White House, the you know, the Trump administration, they are going to start fighting against whatever this is. And you, you will know this because this is the presidency. Then here we have victory. So this could be a Biden victory on January 6th. Or this could mean that uh, something happened that causes a victory, so to speak. I don't know what that would be. I don't want to say the word, but it may start with ass. And then the last word would be nation. But um, we do have here as well, Trump looks like he's leaving, and then his, his seat he gets transferred over. Now, a lot of you guys who have stayed with me from the beginning, thank you for doing that, doing so. I really love you guys so, so much, and you obviously know that I interact with you, and I love you guys. And so we do have here the Ace of Wands, and you all, I mean the Ace of Pentacles, and all of you know that this is um, my card for, like, transferring your power from one party to the next. And here's my Trump card leaving. This is my card for when Trump tries to escape. And it looks like, uh, Trump resignation will definitely look like it should be coming sometime very soon, as well on January 6th. So this is a lot of information to cover. If you guys have emailed me, booked a personal reading, um, or, um, commented, I will be getting back to you ASAP. I apologize for the delay. There was about 600 comments, and I've been trying to get as too many. I was trying to get to as many as I could on um, January 31st. I mean, I mean December 31st, New Year's Eve. I should have slept with that. But um, if you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. And let me know what you think below. And if you're my pre-existing subscribers, I love you, my baby dinosaurs. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you, and have a wonderful year.